So today we're off to Cheerhill, which is a couple of miles west of Avebury, a couple of miles east of Calne, and about, I don't know, 10 miles south of Swindon. Up there is where we're going, that's the Lansdowne Monument. The White Horse is just off to the left there and just at the brow you can start to see Oldbury Castle. But first, the walk. So I just walked up from the road at the bottom there, the second field, and from here you've got a good vantage point of uh, the Lansdowne Monument. I think that was built around 1870. Uh, it was a tribute to Miss. Mr. Perry, I believe, um, who was from the 17th century, part of the Bowood Estate, which is about a mile behind that hill. A gorgeous um, manor estate, lovely gardens. But uh, here you can just about see the Cheerhill White Horse. Now that was built in 1780, 242 years ago, uh, by a Dr. Christopher Alsop from which I believe is just over there. He uh, coordinated the construction from stood down there using a megaphone. Now it did uh, end up in a bad state of decay um, but in 2002 it was restored and now there's a local restoration group which um, adds 160 tons of chalk to it uh, every two years which is uh, yeah which is great to hear good on them now just above you can't really see it here is the start of Oldbury Castle a uh, late Bronze Age early Iron Age hill fort
I think I can make out right on uh, the top of that hill the, the second clump of trees a little white blotch now that is Hackpen Hill white horse there's many white horses in Wiltshire in fact there used to be 13 but uh, over time five of them have disappeared uh, only eight are now maintained and this is the um, Cheerhill white horse you can just about see the tail of it there is the uh, second largest in Wiltshire right onward and upward right I'm standing just above Cheerhill white horse now uh, it's hard to think that this thing looks as it does from the sky it doesn't look much from up here but it is a sight for sore eyes from the drone you can also see how quickly this chalk erodes away I'm not sure when they last top to up but already I can see patches of grass growing through and a lot of the chalk washed away it's gonna be a never-ending job that right just getting close to the north side of Oldbury Castle so Oldbury Castle is a bivalent uh, hill fort which means uh, it's got two sets of banks and ditches although it doesn't go completely round because if you just see this edge it's only got a single bank and ditch and that's because of the uh, massive hill leading up to it it's a natural set of defenses they didn't opt for the double ditch on this side but everywhere else has got one there you go this is the the outer ditch and it goes all the way round so in the in the Bronze Age this used to be a six hectare enclosure but uh, later on in the Iron Age you know somewhere between 500 and 100 BC they increased the size by 50% to nine hectares and this was a formidable hill fort here's the second ditch I mean hill forts in Wiltshire are very common but uh, they are in lot, lots of places within Britain but Wiltshire has got many but this is a biggie some years back they did an excavation over this and they found the remnants of 20 Iron Age roundhouses and uh, quite a lot of finds with it as well urns pottery etc I'll uh, I'll show you a, a lidar display of this area to see what it looks like uh, hopefully it will re reveal more than the, the drone footage will and give us an indication of the size scale and the work and effort that went into it all those years ago but what a view they had 